Welcome to chapter 2 part 5. In this part, we'll be adding the final details to our map by adding damaged walls, the final gold platform and various other rubble uh, to decorate our level a bit more, give it a bit more character. So I'm going to click my import in my mesh folder and I'm going to choose the wall uh, cracked mesh and I'm going to leave it as, as it is. I click import and close the warning uh, box. We don't need a Lambert 1, we can delete that. And we can now drag the wall cracked mesh into our level. But first let's give it that material that we've made earlier for our wall. So I'm just going to replace this. Uh, make sure you're in the place mode first of all. I'm just going to replace this with other walls in my world. So let's get rid of this one. And let's just place that into our scene. Change that to 10 and it should line up just fine. There we go. And I just want to put this throughout my level just to add a bit more definition. And we'll put another one over here. Make sure it lines up. And there we go. Put one more in here. Again, making sure it all lines up. How we like it, so I want a bit over. There we go. Next, I'm going to bring in another mesh. I'm going to bring in the wall broken mesh. Import. And again, we don't need a Lambert 1, so we can remove that. And we can tell it to use our wall material instead. And this one, I'm going to replace on certain sections. So for example here, I can delete this, and plug this in, and I want it to be facing the other way. So I'm just going to rotate it right around. And I'm going to delete the pillar at the end of this as well. There we are. It just adds a little bit more flavour to your level, a bit more ununiformity, ununiformity to sorry, to your level. So I've got that one there. Let's put one here. And line it up. And for this pillar, I'm going to do something a bit special. I'm going to rotate it and put it on the floor. So it looks like it's been knocked over by something. And I'm just going to turn off the snap just to give, make it less uniform looking. sunk in the ground a little bit like so now that mesh I want to make sure I've got no collision on it so go down to where it says collision in the details panel and make it say no collision I don't want to make sure that it's not going to stop the player from walking over it let's put one more of these broken walls in let's put one oh I don't know let's put one here but I think this one I'm going to put down facing the other way. Oh, make sure I put snap back on. And position it like so. Line it up. And I will need a pillar on this side as well. So I'm going to drag this pillar and duplicate that across. Like so. And there we are. Again, we're going to add more stuff to this, so go Import, we're going to choose the rubble, and click Open, Import again, and this one is going to use the same wall material, click Save, and we're going to delete Lambert 1, 
don't need that again. And we'll drag this out and I'm going to just place this in certain locations. And I'm going to turn off the snap for this. Just to make it look less uniform. Uh, actually, just position that near some damage so we can make it look like some damage existed. There we go. And another one in. Let's find a broken wall. There is a broken wall. Use this one over here. When you're positioning items, you can also use the end key to force them onto the ground. Uh, if you have enough space, I don't have enough space, so but there's one shortcut. We'll show that later anyway. Like so. And to add further detail to our damage and rubble, we're going to add the individual brick mesh. So import and choose the brick mesh. Import. Again, it's going to use the wall material. And click save. And we'll drag a couple of these in just to decorate the scene a little bit. You want to make sure the snap's off for this to make it look a bit more natural. Damage, it makes sense to have these loose bricks laying about. Like that. And you can see if I zoom out, it just makes the level look a lot more lived in, like it actually looks like an actual place. Now my bricks, I want to make sure has no collision on all of them. So if I open up the the actual class of the brick mesh and scroll right down to the right hand side, I see collision section. Now I can see a collision preset to no collision. Click save on that, and that way I won't bump into anything. You click play, and you can have a look around your level to see how it now looks with all those individual pieces on your map. Brilliant. So the last thing to do then is add the goal point. So here I've made a mesh for this. So we can go import and we're going to choose the platform mesh and click import. This one has a different material, a gold material. Um, so we're going to drag the platform mesh into the world and put it in its position. And I'm just going to rotate that around to which way I want it to face. I think that's good enough. Now to make it a gold, um, we're actually gonna, let's delete this one here and put our own one in. We go to materials, right click new material, gold material. And open it up. Now to make it look gold, we need first of all the color. So we know how to do that. It's hold down three, left click into base color and we'll choose a yellowy color for our gold it is a metal so we need to put in a metallic nut value in here so put in a single constant and metallic we want to change that value to something like 0 point 
Uh, well, I changed it to one because it is a it is a metal. Okay, so now we get a bit more reflection in there. So to get more reflection, we have to turn down the roughness. So go into your roughness, and we're going to set that to 0.3. Uh, See how that looks. Okay, that's looking not too bad. Maybe it turns to 0.2. Yeah, there we go. Click apply. And we're going to drag this onto our platform. So click and drag this over to the details panel on the right hand side to set your gold material onto your platform. And there we go. And that's kind of it for our level. We've designed our entire level and built it up with the various meshes that we've made. And that brings us to the end and conclusion of chapter two. Chapter two covered various things uh, related to level design. We first of all started out by adding the various wall meshes for our whole entire level, deleting them to create our various uh, our, our level. So that brings chapter two to a close. In this chapter, we used the wall mesh to create our grid and designed our maze by deleting various walls. We then added extra meshes to hide seams between our various modular pieces. We then added colour by creating new materials and added some details using grass and making it wave in the wind and various other things such as cracked, damaged and rubble all over the level. That brings us to the end of chapter 2. Join us next time for chapter 3 where we start adding further gameplay to our level such as doors that we have to open up on our way to get into the end. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in chapter 3. Thank you very much for watching this episode. If you like what I do and you want to see more content before anyone else, please consider supporting me for at least a dollar over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan For just a dollar, you can get access to all these videos early before anyone else, sometimes well ahead of anyone else. And I'll take this moment to say a big thank you for all my supporters so far in supporting me in making this channel content. Wouldn't be doing this without you guys, so a big thank you to all of you. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.